Good morning, everybody. Coming to you today from the Blackwater Wildlife Refuge. Going after snakehead. <laughs> Probably my chief addiction as far as fish go. Uh, medium to medium heavy spinning outfits. Anywhere from about 12 to about 20 pound braid. And I'll be throwing Stanley Ribbit Frogs, Live Target Frogs, Poppers, Chatterbaits, <laughs> and we'll see what else. I'm not sure yet. But it is gorgeous out here, and I'll check back in with a fish. So I suppose I should have known this, but apparently the Blackwater is a prime spawning habitat for what appears to be shad. I mean, they're everywhere in here. Just wait till I get a, back a little bit further and just watch what happens. Look, right here off my right side. Just spooked one there. Look at him. Right next to me. <laughs> it's high tide right now. It's arguably the worst time to be fishing here at Blackwater, at least in my opinion. Because the fish are just able to get so far up into this grass that it might as well be impossible to get to them. All right, check back in later. All right, in case I lose this fish, at least we have some kind of videographic evidence, is if I land it, if by some miracle I land it, it's my PB. All right, the good news is that his mouth is partially open. So I can just get these on there. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, PB. <laughs> okay. All right, and he's gonna flip any minute now. So I think the safest thing to do is put him in, down inside the kayak where he can freak out all he wants to and not get away. Let's get out of here. Ouch, 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 Thornbush, ouch. Getting out of here is gonna be a treacherous act if there ever was one. Bro, <laughs> over a limb and everything, man. I was way back in there. I don't know, dude. I think I might put this up around 25, 26, actually. <laughs> I just borrowed yours, man. <laughs> that dude, that dude, one dude back there sank, man. What? Yeah, he sank. He looked like he was sitting low. They had, they had to take it all the way back. Now he's bent, but he's right at 27. No, 26 and a half. And look at this, hold up. Let's, let's hold them up together, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but there should be one over here. There really should. That's, that's a lot of wood cover back in the shade. The convergence of those factors was absolutely key in targeting these fish. But watch this right here, to the left of where the lure lands. Oh, did you see that? Two, two of them just spooked. Oh, if I can make this cast, it's about to be a blow up. It's a tough, yeah, it's a tough cast though. I made it. Come on now. Get him, brother, get him. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, ain't that little? What, like 21? Yeah, about that. Nice, dude. Yeah, your side's better. Your side looks better. I'm staying over here. <laughs> yep, got off. Yeah, just missed a nice one here, mid to upper 20s. He grabbed it by the legs. Yeah. I mean, it was a good hit, but it just—he hit it as I was moving it, so it only got legs. Are you serious? <laughs> You son of a gun. 
Yeah, Jerry was putting the lead on me at this point. There you go. <laughs> what you doing over there? <laughs> I said, what you doing over there? <laughs> oh god, do I want to cast back in there? I don't know. Yeah, when in doubt, cast back into that cover. A lot of times they're in it. Yes. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one. No, nope, he's off. I think so. Nope. Maybe not. I love the sound of those snakeheads popping those lures. It's fantastic. Uh, I'll have to get out to land him. Got to get out to land him. All right, here we go. The kind of shame of it is it's not that big. <laughs> it's a lot to go through for a small one. It actually is a decent fish. I didn't really appreciate the size of it. Oh, especially if I sink going back. I don't know if I can do it. Can I just pull you over? No. Oh, now he's off. Son of a Watch this right here. Oh God, I, yeah, it's big, yeah, oh God, the hook's barely in her, the hook's barely in her, uh, it's not as big as I thought, but it's, it's still worthy, worthy of a net, oh God, that was so intense, dude, dude, thanks. Oh, oh God, dude, that was so intense. I love the return hits, man. Oh my God. Love the return hits. Nothing better when you get them to hit again. And Lance, I keep having them hit again and this them twice. <laughs> you let them take it for a while. I don't, it's worked out for me thus far, you know? Ah, dude, you talk about exciting fishing. Good God. Yeah, that's that's why I've been out so many times this year to get skunked, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, well, it's just like, well, what if? <laughs> what if they're on today? <laughs> My heart rate has almost calmed down. I don't even know which one's which at this point. I think this is the old one. I'm not even sure. Hold them both up. Right? <laughs> One's definitely longer, so. Oh, I'm so glad we came here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your head's like right behind them, too. It's like perfect. Dude. I said we should stop here. Ah! <laughs> I saw that snake head out ah! Net? Net? I'm snagged. All right, hold on, I'm gonna cut it. I'll come back for it. All right, I cut it, I'm on the way. Yeah, Jared has a fish on here and needs the net, so quickly as I can, I'm beating feet over there. But uh, just as a side note, this is a river in Dorchester County. You gotta do your research past that point. Here, there's only room for you, I'm gonna give you the net. Oh, here, I'll get that off. There you go, <laughs> right, there you go, go. Oh, get oh, off of there. Good. Anything else? One mess There you go. Another. There's your PB. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? <sighs> you want to picture that one real quick? Your phone working? Uh, I'll check. Yes, apparently it is. Yeah. Got her. Nice fish. Ah, I love them, man. All right, everybody. So I don't do this too often. But, I'm going to go ahead and try and do a catch and cook here. And it's going to be with the snakehead that you just saw me catch over on the eastern shore. So, I'll put this recipe up. It's one of my favorites in terms of uh, blackened fish recipes. 
you have a better one, you know, <laughs> let me know. I'm open to it. But I'll have list the ingredients there. And where I'll move from here is just into actually adding the dry ingredients or the blackened seasoning coating that's going to go on these fish. All right. So let's begin. One teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm going to double this recipe because I find that it's easier that way and more consistent that way to get all the seasoning you need to coat fish that have larger fillets. The recipe as it stands is designed for four ounce catfish fillets and the fillets I got off these snakehead, I haven't actually weighed them, but I can guarantee it's more than that. <laughs> all right, she had some thick shoulders on her. And if you hear wild cackling or strange noises in the background, that's my children. So, sorry about that. <laughs> They're in there watching Magic School Bus at the moment. And half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Now, if you're not familiar with thyme, it's probably my favorite spice to cook fish with. I absolutely love thyme. I don't care if it's striped bass, snakehead, whatever the fish is, I have yet to add thyme to it and be disappointed. <laughs> I love that stuff. I like my fillets to be well coated. I am not someone who seasons food lightly. <laughs> I like food to have a generous amount of seasoning. There's one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's coming together nicely. Here we go. I think this pan is hot enough. Like I said, you'll probably see some smoke up. Just like that. All right. And that means it is time to get those fillets into the pan. And again, about medium heat. I have it on for about three minutes per side. Look at those delicious looking fillets. And now, I'm gonna take a little taste of this snakehead. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the judge. I taste it first. And the reason I taste it first is that if there's something is wrong with it, I don't have to get all the lip from my family about it because I won't feed it to them. Now if I know it doesn't taste good. Oh. Snakehead is so delicious. There you go. It's a little bit hot, but what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, black and snakehead. Roll your sleeves up, big girl. Here, babe. You wanna try some? It's really good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. You think so? Snakehead is delicious. Always. Hey! Orion, hey, put this in learning room, son. Him. Learning room, learning room, learning room, go. Good job. I can't believe these hats are so long. They still fit her. That's, that's, that's what you want to wear for this? All right. <laughs> Good guy. Spatula, go. Oh no! Oh, no. Daddy is messing up. <laughs> Not funny, Blair. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here to help. <laughs> you're so ridiculous. All right. This will be our sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Give me all of it. Uh huh. Hi, <laughs> guys. You're out of control, girl. I gotta watch you. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. <laughs> you already had juice. You will have this in tomorrow. What? 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 Some of your juice? What the heck is your juice? Yes, I, it's on the table for you to drink. No, I put it on the table so you wouldn't drink it. Everything 100%. Thank you, Victoria. Someone here. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're overruled. Well, let's get you all napkins. What do you think? No. It's because you're animals. <laughs> <laughs>